right. Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lorance product expert. Uh, today we've been out here doing a little fishing, uh, catching a few like this guy. Just got him. Uh, nice little large mouth. Not too huge, but the bite's been fun. So uh, we thought what we'd do is while we're out here, we're gonna talk to you about how to set up your sonars and select the right transducer for your boat. All along, we've been talking about the importance of selecting the right transducer. Now, as you can see, we're in about 45 feet of water here, 46. Um, we've got some marks under us, and they look long and stretched out, and that's because we're actually anchored using our trolling motor. So those fish are just kind of staying right underneath our transducer, which makes them look all long like you see right here. But the importance of selecting the right transducer, I, I cannot tell you how important it is. So we're going to show you on your unit how to find the proper transducer and install it. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the Pages button, then you're going to go to the Settings, and then we go to Sonar. Now when you look down on this list, you see where it says Installation. If we touch there, we can see this is the left console, which is what I've named it, and this is Channel 1. Now as you can see right down here, you can see this transducer type, how it's grayed out. That's because this is a 9-pin transducer that has the XID on it. And what that means is the transducer knows what it is, so it tells my Lowrance unit, this is what transducer is connected to you, this is the one we're going to use. So as you can see, I can touch it and it won't change or anything like that. So if your transducer type is grayed out, then your unit knows what the transducer is and it's already selected it for you, so you don't have to do anything to change that. So now we're gonna swap over to this other unit and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when the unit does not know what transducer is connected to it. As you can see, this unit says no source. So we're gonna go ahead and look at transducer. So we're gonna hit the pages button. Again, we're gonna to go to settings and then we go to sonar. Now, when we go down to installation and touch that, we look at this unit, channel one. As you can see right now, it says transducer type unknown. And you see, if you notice it's white. So I can touch it and I can select a transducer. So all of our Lowrance transducers, like if you get the standard skimmer, that's the HST WSBL. Um, if you have like one of the pucks that's glassed into the hull, it's usually one of these, like the PDRT. Now the RT has a remote temp, so it's got a little brash temp source that comes out of the unit and goes into the water so that it has a good temp source. This is used a lot on boats that have glassed in transducers. Uh, the PDT is just the puck that's got a little temp sensor already on it. That's used a lot on your trolling motors. And then the PDWBL. That's one that also gets glassed into boats a lot because it doesn't have a temp source on it, so you're not reading the temp inside the hull. It'll get its temp source from a different transducer on the boat. So if you have a structure scan or an active imaging 3-in-1, <laughs> that's where it's going to get its temp source. Then as you can see, we scroll down. We have a bunch of different transducers in our list. Everything from the Air Mars um, to high, medium, and low chirp transducers. So if you had a transducer on your boat and it's our regular little black skimmer transducer, you would just select the HST WSBL and then you hit save. Then the unit's gonna know what transducer's connected to it. Okay guys, a lot of times when we talk about the 9-pin transducers, that's the little round black transducer that plugs into the back of the unit. It may not have 9 pins in it, it may only have 5, but it's still, it's the same type of transducer. It's got a 9-pin configuration, that's why we call it the 9-pin. And typically it has XID in it, so if you bought a new transducer in the last couple of years, they're going to have that 9-pin transducer plug on it. Now, our older ones, they're the blue ones that have the 7 pins. You know, they're blue, round, plug into the back. They don't plug into the same port as the 9-pin. So that's the main difference between our two transducers. Now, if you do have a blue 7-pin transducer in your boat and you upgrade to our live units or one of the TIs or the TI2s, we do make an adapter cable that allows you to convert that blue transducer to the black XID transducer. Now you're still going to have to go in and tell it what transducer that you have, but it's very easy to do. You can get your fishing done that way. Nice little smallmouth here. Uh, good bite, good fight. So let's go ahead and uh, let him go. And he's ready to go. 
So guys, when your sonar is set up properly, it makes it so much easier to find these fish. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the button up here and subscribe to us on the YouTube channel. And don't forget, you can come back and see us every week for helpful tips like this one.